Hi, in tonight's Unity tutorial, I'm going to continue on working with terrains and show you how to use a terrain tool that is something that you could download from GitHub and it adds some more features that you can do with a terrain in Unity 2018.3 and above. So I'll call this tutorial Terrain Tools and 3D blah 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 and create a project for it. Oh, there's already Terrain Tools 2. And let me just create that folder. All right, the project opened up and this is a default 3D project. And since I'm going to be working with the terrain to show you how to use these terrain tools that um, I downloaded from GitHub, First, I have to create a terrain, bam, and let me just add some hills to the terrain to start off with. So, a little small, let's make you a little bigger, and let's make you a little bit more interesting, like this guy maybe. And we'll just add some bumps and stuff to start off with, and the baking ETA. I just uh, made the terrain not static so the baking ETA could stop firing off. And just adding some bumps and stuff here. Okay. And I'll set the camera to look from this view with Control Shift F. Here we go. So the terrain tools that I'm going to use, I'm going to search for them online here. And I'm just going to type in Unity Terrain Tools. And I know it's on GitHub. Let's see what comes up. And here it is. This is the link. Um, GitHub Unity Technologies Terrain Tool Samples. Mm -hmm. So this person has put this up here. And here from GitHub, I'm going to just download this to my, I'm going to download it as a zip to my desktop, save, and there it is. Okay, so now I could close that and unzip this folder, see what we have inside of it. So, extract, and here we go, this is the folder. So now I'm just gonna take this folder and put it in my project. Okay, so what's in this folder? Let's read the README. So this uh, terrain tool that I just downloaded from GitHub, um, it just specifies here the instructions of unzipping it to, you know, inside my Unity project. And now these are the new things that are included in this uh, terrain tools package. Um, we have some utilities like the ability to make a bridge shape in the terrain we could do um, some cloning um, some mesh stamps some um, flattened heights of a slope and then we have some new erosion tools here and some new transforming tools so if i go to the terrain now with the package here um, copied over into my project here this terrain ta terrain tool sample package if i click on the paintbrush and look here at my drop down we'll see that there's three more items added to the drop down and these are the things we're going to go over here all right so um one thing i may want to do here is i may want to just get a texture to put on the uh my terrain so let me go back to my browser and let me just find some rock texture so we could see that things look better rock texture seamless all right and We'll just pick something like this one. You know, we just need something. So, okay, and now let me just save that to my desktop. Boom. And I'll take that and put it in the project too. All right, so now I have these things in the project, so I guess I could take them off my desktop. Goodbye. And now go back to my terrain and i want to paint the texture of the rocks that i just downloaded so i'm going to create a layer and here we go make a layer out of that and bam so that way it's a little bit easier to see what we're going to do here 
Now I'll go back to, let's try the tools from the bottoms up. All right, so this one here, this transform, pinch height, let's see how this one works, okay? So we got the pinch height tool and we have still the brush shape tool. I'm just gonna make it a little smaller. Okay, so we have that. And up here for the pinch height tool, we have a pinch amount and by default it's set to five. So let's see what that does. Basically, it's going to pinch the terrain. Oh, let's get a little closer. It should kind of pinch the terrain into like some sharper points here. See how it's pinching the um, the detail? And I could increase that so we could definitely see the effect and maybe make this bigger. Oh, gosh, this really got big. Let me just go down a little bit. And there you go. You can see the uh, pinch effect happening there on the terrain. It's it's just okay, click, click, click. Or maybe I could do it again over here. And you can see it's just the way of doing something different on the terrain. That's the pinch tool. And then the other one here we have is the smudge height. And let's see what that one looks like. It's basically like I'm taking the heights and I'm rubbing them into a new direction, you know? So that's the smudge height tool. Mm -hmm. See how that looks. And the third tool here on the transforms is the twist height. So uh, you can imagine what that's going to do. Let's see. Um, I'm going to rub it. Let me just do the twist amount was at zero. So that means I could twist in one direction or another direction. And let's see what happens here. As you can see, it's taking the terrain and swirling it into a curve. You see? So that's the twist tool. And like I said, I can go in one direction or the other. Let's see. And I could swirl in the other direction if I want. And there you go. That's kind of cool for effects that you couldn't do with the um, default tools in the Unity terrain. Do, 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 do. And that's the transform tools. Now let's take a look at some of these erosion tools. Um, let's start off with the terrace erosion. Have you ever seeing those farms in the mountains like i think it's in china where they everything's like layered out so what we hear what we have here is some settings for the terrace tool and if i just take this area here and i start rubbing you see how it kind of like picks a height for everything and starts leveling it out into like <laughs> literally like a terrace like different heights you see from the smoothness and let's see what I could do here with the corner weight. Mm -hmm. So it could be like a hard edge corner or that's high. Let's see what happens when I put it low. Yep, that's a harder edge corner. Or I could put this up here and well, that one already got affected. Let's go over here. Or the corners could be having a softer edge. And then this kind of, this is what the tear edge tool does. And the count, I imagine, let's see if I put that up. Ah, it's how many how many levels it makes when it's doing the terraces. So if I put it all the way up here, mm -hmm, that's really breaking it up into a lot of terraces. Let's slow it down a little. I think that's like how many terraces. Anyway, so you can play with these settings. That's the terrace tool. And let's see what else we got in the erosion. Second one is a ridging erosion. And this is the feature sharpness. So let's go over here and you can see how it kind of kind of erodes the peaks from being rounded bumps to almost like, you know, like a hill of sand wearing off. And we could control the sharpness of the erosion. Let me put it down lower and it's not as sharp and then i could put it all the way up to the max and see that i could have the lines like harder like little veins okay 
And what's this last one here in the erosion is a road height simple. So what's that one gonna do? Let's go over here to these bumps. And I'm rubbing over it, but I guess I must increase the detail size. And now let me just rub. Okay, so it's the same kind of thing. It kind of sinks, sinks in some height there from something simple and starts sinking in the height. So those are the erosion tools. And let me go to now utilities. Okay, so we have slope. Flatten the height of a slope. Um, let's take this area. It's not modified that much yet. And let's turn up the detail so we could really see what this effect does first. And as I'm rubbing, it kind of looks like it it didn't flatten the area, but say if um, from this being a steep cliff, it looks like it turns it into a smoother hill. Okay, so the erosion slope looks like it just turns whatever I'm aiming at into a smoother hill to actually go through instead of it being so hard. You see that? Without flattening it, it just smooths out the hill. What else do we have? We have sharpen the height. Ooh, I wonder what that's gonna do. Let's check it. And, oh, I see. It looks like it just yanks up something into the air. Let me try to reduce the detail. Whoa. <laughs> mm. Yeah, that's pretty, that's pretty sharp. Let me undo that one. And let me raise the detail up. That was the minimum detail. And okay, so it looks like it just pulls out whatever is there into that one. Then it go up there. It looks like it just pulls it out into some kind of a peak for the sharpened height. What else do we have? The mesh stamp tool. Yeah, I'm gonna need a me I'm gonna need a mesh for this one. So let me add a new um, some kind of shape here. Uh, let's add a a sphere. I mean, it's a basic shape. And where is the sphere in the scene? Yeah, probably below the ground. So my train's at zero, zero, zero. My sphere, let me just reset its position. And also, let me up it in scale. Mm -hmm. I can see it right down there. Um, so let's just move it up one. And let me just move it over the terrain a little bit. And let me double click. All right, so I'm way up in the sky. I don't, I'm not sure if it matters if I'm up in the sky or not. Oh, let me just get it down. See, that's below the ground. And then let me put it over the middle. This train is huge. But I think one thing I want to do is I, maybe I want to make the sphere a little bit bigger for my shape. So let's say we have a sphere like this, some kind of round sphere. That's my shape. So if I use this mesh let's see again the mesh stamp tool it wants a mesh um oh i didn't even have to make a sphere i had some shapes here i could have used so let me use a sphere uh and here i could say the scale of it oh there you go Boom. and i could just kind of click in some domes in there Boom. and i guess this could work if i had maybe another shape in here that I made a, you know, something instead of using these basic shapes. So this is what happens if I use a cube. And it's kind of big. All right, let's see. Bing! And I could just like actually do some shapes right in my terrain. Cool. And what else do we have? The clone brush. I'm not exactly clones terrain from another area. And what? to the selected location. I guess it's a way to copy a texture area. I'm not gonna do that one. And then like the last one is bridge. All right, let's see how this one works. I guess what this one does, this is the wrong window. I guess what this one does, um, what it's gonna do, I could delete the sphere. I, did, I never needed to put that in there. Is it makes like the terrain raise up from one spot to another. So let me, Use the bridge, it says shift click from one spot. And let me make this bridge a little bit thinner. All right. 
So it's shift click in one spot. So let me click from here, shift and mouse click, and then go to the other spot. Bam. And it made a bridge that just goes across in my terrain. See that? So maybe I could do it again from here. Let me make my brush even smaller and go from here, shift click, and then click over here. And I see how it works. It's kind of making bridges. So that's the new tools here with this um, terrain tools thing that I downloaded from the internet. Do I still have the window of it? Nope. Okay, so I'll have the um, link for this uh, terrain tools here in the description of this video and you could use it to even do more things with the Unity terrain in 2018.3 and above. See ya!